Should the FDA approve the Mediterranean diet for the treatment of clinical depression? I'm Dr. Drew Ramsey. This is the Brain Food Blog. I'm reporting for Medscape Psychiatry, and I'm an clinical, uh, assistant clinical professor of psychiatry at Columbia University. So 2017 was a big year in brain food. As you know, January 31st, the SMILE study came out by Felice Jacka, showing that the Mediterranean diet had a really significant and positive effect for individuals with moderate to severe depression. And the year rounded out with Natalie Parletta and her group at the Center for Population Research in South Australia, pum- publishing a similar study with striking findings. Dr. Parletta and her group followed 152 individuals, and they randomized them to a control group, which was a very good active support group, and then a group that got the Mediterranean diet. And this is how they changed their food. As the authors note, we live in a quote-unquote obesogenic environment, and so changing eating behaviors is very challenging. The researchers had an intervention for 152 individuals. The intervention was uh, every two weeks, individuals would get a food hamper containing some essential ingredients from a recipe that they were going to learn, along with things like uh, uh, some uh, canned fish, like tuna or salmon, or or, uh, certainly some olive oil, along with some whole grains and legumes, the basic staples of the Mediterranean diet. And along with the food hamper, they'd have a cooking class. Now, boy, talk about that would certainly make me feel better in a depression every couple of weeks to get free food and a really nice Mediterranean diet-style cooking class. The researchers followed these individuals at six months, getting also measurements at three months. And so what did they find? They found the, first of all, significantly changed the individual's diets in the Mediterranean diet intervention group. They ate more fish, they ate more plants, uh, they ate uh, uh, less red meat and less confections or, or processed foods. They found that individuals in the Mediterranean diet had a significant reduction in their depression scores, about a 45% improvement in their rating scales, compared with about a 27 percent improvement in the control group. The the uh, researchers also gave everybody in the intervention group a fish oil pill or an omega-3 supplement. They got about 900 milligrams of DHA and 200 milligrams of EPA. To note, that's kind of the opposite ratio of what we often think about where we're giving, uh, usually recommending individuals take a little bit more EPA and less DHA. But this had a nice effect in some ways because uh, getting people to increase more fish, eat more fish, certainly is an effort to get them to increase the long-chain omega-3 fats in their diet and this was a way to ensure that happened. The researchers also do a nice job reporting erythrocyte omega-3 values of the different PUFAs, the polyunsaturated fats, and then correlating some of those changes with changes in the rating scales in terms of mood and and negative emotions. If you're interested in this type of research, I encourage you to take a look. It's the Healthy Med Study by Natalie Parletta and her group, and it it leads to a a reasonable question for us. If we are evidence-based clinicians and now there's a significant data signal that the Mediterranean or traditional diets can both prevent depression but also uh, treat depression, Uh, are we doing a good enough job teaching the next generation of psychiatrists how to assess diet, and are we changing our clinical practice to reflect the evidence? I'll look to your comments below to let me know how a study like this influences how you practice. I'm Dr. Drew Ramsey for Medscape Psychiatry.